guys for those of you who have been following me through my youtube travel out videos i humbly thank you for putting up with me and my passion in traveling with my honda cbr 400 super 4 revo this is my first attempt in trying to embark on a long distance bike touring trip that covered more than a week of stay in three different states with three different types of accommodations. For the past one week, you followed me from my initial first to Mount West biking journey from Singapore up to Cameron Highlands all the way to Tistel Park Dixon. I was from zero experience in long distance bike touring to becoming only 20% better at the end of the trip. Well, at least I've learned something. Good sleep is everything. Yes, you might be wondering, have I really lost my mind before deciding to make this crazy trip riding all by myself? Yes, I did thought about this. If I am ever going to make it back alive to my homeland, Singapore, why did I do it? The truth is, I am more of an independent, gung-ho type of person who would rather ride alone and face all kinds of challenges by myself rather than to follow a bike touring group that has its own sets of problems. To be honest with you, I cannot afford to have liabilities, nor can I afford to be one to my touring group. You know what I mean? This will severely affect the morale and the stringent plan timeline schedule set up by the group leaders meticulously. So, yes, being alone meant that you have to prepare the trip all by yourself. On my first day, on my way up to Cameron Highlands, I stumbled onto so many obstacles that I didn't even know they existed until I faced them up front. All of these challenges I faced came to me all at once in one single trip. I was completely drained physically and mentally by the end of my first day. Let me share with you my shortcomings and my biggest mistakes on my first day. Number one, lack of sleep. Mental tiredness and physical exhaustion crept in in the second half of the journey. Number two, taking too many wrong turns resulted in wasting too much of daylight time. Number three, no power bank so I have to make several pit stops just to recharge my mobile phone. Number four, climbing up Cameron Highlands in a wet, drizzling, cold, dark night. I was soaking wet and shivering all the way up. And finally, number five, my luggage was not secured tightly that it kept pushing me to sit on top of my tank while climbing up Cameron Highlands. That was pure torture. You put all these challenges into one single day of experience? I still don't know how I actually arrived at Century Pines Hotel in Cameron Highlands very late at night. Alive. I really thank God for saving and protecting me throughout my first day journey. Anything could have actually happened to me that day. Would I have joined a bike touring group if I had known any of these challenges earlier prior to my trip? No, I would still want to experience all of these mistakes so that I have the tenacity to go through each of them firsthand and learn from them personally. A wise man once said, you may face hardships through your life journeys, but it is what you do to overcome your hardships that makes you a man. That wise man is me. <laughs> you 
You see, when you face a problem, you must learn to be humble and ask for help. People will help you when you show genuine concern. When you are lost, ask for help. Put aside your man ego and your arrogance. Be humble and ask for help. This character trait of being humble has truly helped me with some of the obstacles I faced during this one week bike trip. Well, uh, it also helps if you know the local language. How do I learn from my mistakes? I remember each of my life learning mistakes and I make sure I do not repeat the same painful mistake. I converted those mistakes into working solutions so that these solutions will stay with me for future use. You need to make mistakes to learn. Just don't make the same stupid mistakes again and again. Trust me. Once is enough to educate you. Let me give you my honest feedback and criticism about this bike trip. Let's start with Cameron Highlands. To be honest with you, I was kind of disappointed in not having to visit the Bo Tea Center. I was really looking forward to drink my English tea and pastries there, but the center was closed to the public on that day. Overall, I only spent four days in Cameron Highlands from 20th to 23rd of May 2023. That is not enough for me. I will definitely come back to Cameron Highlands one day. One of my biggest stupid mistakes I made in Cameron Highlands was I went for a spa center. After my massage, the spa center conned me into buying a small bottle of massage oil for Malaysia 60 ringgit, Singapore $20, that should not have cost me more than Malaysia 10 ringgit. I was so stupid to actually bought this aromatherapy oil. It looked so small to cost Malaysia 60 ringgit in the first place. That was officially my stupid day. Other than that, I actually encounter a punctured rear tire. A very big nail punctured my rear tire and it was losing a lot of air. I knew I had to find a motorcycle repair shop before my luck ran out. I managed to get it fixed in Cameron Highlands. That was really a good scare for me. Coming down to Shele Pak Teh di Sungai Klang is a refreshing change for me. I love nature and being with nature, so I blend in well with the locals. They are always welcoming, especially if you are a foreigner. They are always curious where you came from and where you are going. This change of environment suited me well as I used my three-day stay from 23rd to 25th of May 2023 at Shele Pak to rejuvenate and to replenish my stocks. You have to change your mindset and adapt to your surroundings. You must learn to assimilate and blend in with the locals. I lowered my expectations and learned to embrace their kampung way of life. No money in this world can teach you that. I left Shele Pak Teh di Sungai Klang feeling rewarded with all the rich culture and warmth hospitality these people of the land offered me. Finally, I spent the last remaining five days from 25th of May to 29th of May 2023 of my trip in Port Dixon in a very grand Tistel Port Dixon resort. I purposely chose five days as I know I had to cover a few local attractions here in Port Dixon. There are two Makan places that I strongly want to recommend to you when you are here in Port Dixon, they are Mint Burger. 
for the late night supper people until 12 a.m. every weekdays except they close on Wednesday. The Reboot Hot Dixon. This new E3 is just outside of distant Port Dixon Resort. I will leave the links and information in the description below. As I mentioned in my earlier video, I just can't help thinking that Port Dixon is like a military base as I've seen quite a number of army HQs scattered around the state. They even have a mosque inside an army base. I prayed there, I know. What I have learned throughout this one week of bike journey? Do not ever underestimate the concept of pre-trip preparation. Sleep well before a long, tedious bike road trip and stop if you feel tired. You are on your own, so it is wise to think before you attempt to make any stupid mistakes. I did make some stupid mistakes, but they are all new mistakes that I only discovered along the trip. Yeah. To be honest with you, I was so exhausted after the trip. It took me the entire following week after my return to fully recuperate physically and mentally from the bike trip. Will I do it again? Most definitely. But this time, I will compile all of my past mistakes and better prepare myself for my next big bike touring ride. I may even thought of adding side panniers, boxes, attached to my CBR400 Super 4 Evo. This will eliminate any concern of having an unsecured strappings of my luggage. I will also consider getting a partner rider or a pillion for added safety and companionship. Not necessarily a female companion, but more of a buddy rider who also enjoy outdoor long distance bike tours in neighboring countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand. I thank you for joining me in this bike trip to Century Pines Resort in Cameron Highlands, Shelepak Teh di Sungai Kelang and Tistel Port Dixon Resort. This is my hobby and passion to travel with my bike and to explore different countries, cultures and cuisines. As long as I am able bodied, I will continue to share my hobby and my passion with you guys. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Indonesia